A lot of people send their children to Christian schools or other religious affiliated schools for many reasons. But before you do, there's a few things we ought to think about and consider. Out of all the people that I have talked to personally and known, as well as read their stories or listened to them on the internet, about 80% of the people who attend a Christian schools or other religion affiliated schools as children walked away from their belief system as adults. Notice I didn't say walked away from their faith because that's part of the problem. I don't think there was any genuine faith. The main reason for this phenomenon is this. I speak from experience, having worked at a Christian school and other experience with Christian schools, attended one as a child, and more experience as an adult. Most Christian schools teach a belief system. They teach you to believe in Jesus. They teach you to believe in the Bible. They teach you the fundamentals and the basics of Christianity. Any variety thereof, depending on which school it is. But they don't teach you to be in love with Jesus himself. They don't teach kids to be in relationship with him. This is because, generally, the adults don't live in relationship with him either, and so don't model this. And so, what is settled for is simply a belief system. And belief systems, the problem with that is that people can be talked out of belief systems when they're simply mental. By contrast, when a person, i.e. a child, is introduced to Jesus himself, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord of life, and are taught to live in love with him, well, that's a whole different deal. Because human beings are built for love, and we are made for love. And we will always go where we sense the most love. It is interesting to note in the Bible, Jesus' response to kids when they were brought to him. There were no requirements for coming to him. There was no sinner's prayer required. He just said, hey, let the kids come to me. No questions asked. And anybody who got in the way suffered a severe rebuke from him. The second problem with simply raising kids in a belief system is that oftentimes that belief system is fear-based instead of love-based. And since human beings made in the image of God are love-receiving and love-giving beings at our core, we innately know that we are not built for fear, but we are built for love. And so, if a Christian belief system is taught in a spirit of fear, not in a spirit of love, well, it's bound to fail. The Bible says very clearly the only thing that never fails is love. Fear is a strong motivator, and it can and does motivate people. But it ultimately always fails. And love is the only thing that never fails. So many people grow up and they realize innately, sometimes consciously, sometimes subconsciously, <coughs> that they were raised in a fear-based system and they abandon it. Regardless of the teaching, they know they're not built for fear. They're built for love. So the solution 
to this entire dilemma is for all of us to raise kids in relationship with Jesus himself. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord of love and life, the one who is life, the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. Not just belief systems about him, not just memorizing Bible verses, not just adhering to a belief system out of fear, but knowing the one who is love. As they're raised in love with him, that will stick with them for their entire lives. Thank you and have a nice day.